Hello everyone and welcome. I just wanted to make this new video to show you how easy it is to retarget animations in Unreal Engine 5.4. The retargeting process has been notoriously finicky throughout Unreal Engine's lifetime. And they keep updating the process, and it's gotten easier throughout the years, but the latest change has now given us a system that I can honestly say is user-friendly. So in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is with a simple example by retargeting an animation from Mixamo to the Epic Mannequin, and it's only going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to create a brand new project in 5.4. I'm just going to create a third person template project and call this retarget 5.4. And the third person template project has the mannequin with some basic animations. Next, I'm going to log into Mixamo and download any animation with the skin. So this will come with the character that I currently have selected in Mixamo. I'm going to download that. And back in my third person template project, I'm just going to make a completely new folder called Mixamo. Here in Mixamo, I'm going to take my brand new FBX file that I downloaded from Mixamo and drag it straight into my Mixamo folder. Now I want to import the mesh, so I'm going to leave skeletal mesh and import mesh checked, leave the skeleton blank, and check import animations as we should have one animation. I'm going to click import all and ignore the message log. We can close that. And we now have a new skeletal mesh and a new animation. I can open that animation and make sure that it looks good, which it does. And I'll just quickly organize this folder by renaming the skeletal mesh to SK Mixamo. And I'm gonna rename the skeleton to SKEL Mixamo. Use whatever naming conventions you like. I'll call the physics asset PHYS Mixamo. And we got two animations. One of them is just a T pose. I don't want that one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that animation with force delete and rename the dancing animation to dancing. And I'm just gonna make a new folder called materials and place these two materials in that folder and I usually like to keep my animations in their own folder, so I'll make a new folder called Animations and move Dancing into that folder. So I've basically just created a third-person template project. So I have the Unreal Engine mannequin, and I also brought in the Mixamo skeletal mesh that I chose from the Mixamo site. And we have a single animation here of this character dancing, and I'd like to show how to get this animation retargeted onto the Unreal Engine mannequin. And the process is much easier than it used to be. All I need to do is browse to this dancing animation that I'd like to retarget, right click, and select Retarget Animations. We now have a Retarget Animations window where we can choose the Source Skeletal Mesh and the Target Skeletal Mesh. Now the first time you choose a Skeletal Mesh, it's going to close out the window and you just have to go back and click retarget animations one more time and choose that same skeletal mesh. So simply choose the skeletal mesh that you want to use. Now here in this project, I can search for SKM Manny and I can see the Manny skeletal mesh and I can double click on the animation to see both meshes performing that animation. So Unreal Engine now has automatic support for most industry standard skeletons for humanoids, including the Mixamo skeleton, both the new and the old Unreal Engine mannequins, Daz 3D, Metahumans, and so on. And because my source skeletal mesh is the Mixamo skeletal mesh, I see all animations that share that skeleton. So I could retarget multiple animations by selecting all of them here. And the final step is to click on Export Animations and we just need to choose where we'd like those animations exported. Now we're retargeting to the Manny Skeletal Mesh. So I'm gonna to go to the Characters folder and find Mannequins, Animations, Manny, and I'll just put the new dancing animation here. Clicking on Export, we don't have to check Overwrite Existing Files. We can leave these settings as is and choose Export. And now we have a new dancing animation and it's retargeted to the Epic Manny Skeleton. So it was as easy as that. This process is much easier and more straightforward than it was before. This is going to save us a lot of time. So just to recap, all you have to do is go to any animation, right click on it, choose retarget animations, and choose a target skeletal mesh that you would like to retarget to. 
check out those animations to make sure they look good and click on export animations and choose a file path where you would like those animations to go. Click on export, confirm by clicking export again, and you now have a new animation retargeted to your skeletal mesh. All right, so hopefully this is very encouraging because retargeting used to be a lot more difficult. Now it's super simple, super easy, and this is going to save us lots of time.